Hello everyone, and welcome to part 203 of advanced ecom series in Laravel 8. So we will continue working on the wishlist functionality. And in this video, we will uh, work on the wishlist button. Uh, see every time if the user will click on wishlist button, if the heart is empty, then it means user wants to add the product in the wishlist, in his wishlist. Okay, then, uh, then we are going to insert the entry in wishlist table we are going to add the product id along with his user id in the wishlist table and the if the heart is uh, filled like this is filled then we are going to remove uh, the product id from the user wishlist like this is the product id one so we are going to remove this product id one from the user wishlist we are going to check what is the id of the user user id is one okay so we are going to remove the uh, product id one from the user id 1 so this is the condition for us that the product id 1 and the user id 1 so we are going to remove this product okay we are going to remove this entry so that the product will get removed from the user wish list okay so we are going to work on this thing with the help of ajax okay so let's continue let's open the detail bit file i'm going to uh, close the another file uh, but front script we require to add the jquery function so here we will go to our uh, button wishlist button okay we can search the button as well uh, wishlist okay here it is so we are going to work on this part where the user is logged in okay so it is for the logged in user see here we are logged in okay uh, because if the user is not logged in then we are going to show the error message to the user that the user must log in to add the product in in his wish list okay so now this button we are going to update we are going to add another class to this wish list button and that class name we can keep any class name but here uh, we are going to keep, keep the simple uh, class like uh, update wishlist we can make it update wishlist simple class update wishlist okay this is the class okay so update wishlist class and uh, one more thing uh, we want to uh, return the product id to the jquery to for that uh, we are going to make it like data hyphen product id okay uh without any space any hyphen okay we can make it like this data hyphen product id and in this we are going to pass that we are going to return the product id this is the product id product that we are having okay like this so now uh, in the front script we are going to uh, we are going to write the new function okay uh, so that is based on the click of the new class the update wishlist class okay update wishlist so on the click of this class so first of all we are going to check that this function is working or not okay after that we will continue we will keep debugging this one because uh see uh anytime if we have any issue we are going to resolve that issue before continuing further okay so here see test is coming so that is fine we are reaching here control is here okay so now uh, we are going to have the product id variable product id okay so we are going to get the product id from the data attribute okay so uh, that uh, we can do dollar this dot data and in data product id okay product id so we are going to alert this one product id uh, we able to get or not okay so first check this one refresh we are going to click on wish list see product id is one that is fine so now we can continue now we will use the ajax here dollar dot ajax okay so here uh, in ajax uh, we will use the type as post uh, 
url uh, we are going to create the new route uh, for updating wish list so that uh, we are going to make it like this update wish list and the data that we will send to the wish list function to update wish list function okay for the update of the wish list so only the product id we are required to send okay because uh, the user id we will get from the auth itself so only product id is required product id product id okay so here we will have the success function if any response will come then that we are going to alert here and here uh, error function alert error okay so now uh, we are going to create this route update wish list so let's create this route in web.php file we are going to create the post route okay so uh, we don't have any uh, wish list uh, route so far so we are going to create the new route and we are going to create inside the auth okay here we are going to create update wish list route route we are going to add update wish list perhaps controller we are going to create this function in perhaps controller update wish list so I am going to open here the perhaps controller at the front and the function that we are going to create this update wishlist function okay so let's create this function at last so we are going to create this function here public function update wishlist okay so here we are going to use the dollar request and dollar request as we are passing the data from ajax okay so if the data is passed in ajax we are going to check dollar request ajax okay like this so if the data is coming in ajax we are uh, going to check that data okay and also uh, okay so first of all we are going to check the data dollar data dollar request all here uh, we are going to print the data once so that we will check whether uh, the product id that we have uh, returned from ajax is coming up here or not or some issue is coming first of all we are going to debug our code up till here so refresh here open inspect element okay so that we will come to know uh, so here open the network close everything earlier okay so now uh, we are going to click on wish list okay so see it is coming fine product id 1 is coming up till here so here you can also see the product id is coming fine up till our function so we can continue okay so now uh auth we are already having the auth okay uh, this function is only for the logged in user who logged in otherwise the error message will come to the user that we have done in the last video so here uh, we are going to check the count wish list okay we are going to count the wish list here once again okay and we will also check if uh, that function is helpful for us count wish list function okay so we can call this function uh, to get the count uh, from this product id okay 
so uh, so uh, we can simply use this function here count wish list uh, equal to we can call this one from the wish list model is count wish list and we are having the product id that we will uh, simply uh, pass there to get the result product id okay so here we have the count wish list so let's check once that what is the output of this count wish list it must be one because here we are already having the product in the user wish list so i'm going to disable this one so let's check it refreshing and here closing everything deleting everything okay so that uh, we can check it so now we are going to click on wish list once again and here some error has come this time okay so the class is missing from here so maybe the class is missing uh, from the press controller itself yeah it is so we need to add uh, the uh, wish list model here use app wish list okay so now come back again here we will be back here to check whether now it will uh, work fine or not i'm going to refresh once again okay and i'm going to uh, see clear this one okay uh, now i'm going to click on this wish list button once again and this time it is coming as one as expected because the product is already there in user wish list you can see this one product id it's already there in user wish list you can browse and you can check this product is already there in user wish list okay you can see product is already there in user wish list user id is one and product id is one so uh, so this time if the product is already there in user wish list so uh, now uh, it is it will work like a toggle like uh, it, like a swapping kind of method like if the product is already there in user wish list then we are going to remove the product and the if if the product is not there in the user wish list then we are going to add the product okay so vice versa so uh, so this time product is already there in user wish list so this time we are going to remove the product from the user wish list okay so we are going to check and and uh, do accordingly so here uh, we are going to check here count wish list here we are going to check it's uh, equal to equal to zero and here if the uh, wish list count is zero then here dollar wish list uh, equal to new new wish list okay uh, so uh, now uh, wish list on user id user id we can simply get from the auth user id like this and now uh, product id product id we are having here dollar data product id and after product id and user id product and this is enough okay so we are going to save the wish list now wish list save okay so uh, now after saving the wish list we are going to return the response to the ajax return response json response we are going to return we are going to return the status as true in case uh, the product has been added status we will add true and action uh, we are going to add uh, is uh, we are going to send the add action okay because here uh, we have added the product in user wish list okay so if uh, the count wish list is not equal to zero or if it is greater than zero then it means the product uh, is not there in user wish list so in that case uh, uh, sorry uh, if the product is already there in user wish list uh, see here the product is not there in user wish list so we have added the product in user wish list 
and if the uh, product is already there then we are going to remove that product okay so for that we are see here we can do one thing here commenting is really important uh, add product in user wishlist okay or simply add product in wishlist and here remove product from wishlist okay now it is clear okay here we are going to add remove product from this list okay so now this time we are going to remove product and we are going to check two condition where user id is equal to this auth user id and the next one is product id and product id is dollar data product id okay so this one we are going to delete like this and also once again we are going to use this return response here uh, the action will be remove so based on this action we are going to update here the response okay this part we are going to update this part okay this uh, success part okay so here see if uh, uh, there is response response if their status is some status is coming okay see uh, status is coming as true or if the status is coming okay like this and uh, then uh, if uh, uh, status is coming as uh, or, or this one is not required at all okay status uh, uh, we have we don't have any other status so that's why it is not required so we can just keep it like this uh, that status is also not required if you want to keep you can keep it okay so uh, response dot action uh, we are going to pick the action here if the action is add okay so in that case uh, we are going to uh, update the hurt uh, okay we are going to uh, have that filled hurt okay uh, so for that uh, we are going to update that uh, button with the data product id that is the data product id button we are going to update uh, this one uh, so we are going to have this one uh, this id is the product id like this okay HTML. okay so here see we are going to check uh, the button here uh, this button we want to update we are going to inspect this button here the button okay fine and we are going to uh, based on this data product id data product id uh, so this one uh, come here data product id okay so plus product id uh, okay that product id equal to then plus product id plus uh, html now it seems to be fine so here we are going to put wish list and inside this wish list we can copy from here uh, the class is uh, this one i class okay wish list and i class equal to like this okay so after that uh, we are going to close this one and i also we are going to close like this and semicolon so uh, this is uh, for uh, if the it is equal to add okay 
so in case of remove okay there are two things at all okay add or remove okay so we can do it, it like this else if uh, if it is equal to remove uh, then in that case uh, we will just do icon hurt empty so uh, let's check once that it is working or not okay let's refresh this one uh, some error has come as expected because this is the most crucial most complex uh, part of the ajax okay so here we need to check once again that uh, where is the issue mm. uh, but issue is uh, not there issue is it is showing somewhere else uh, so remove product from wishlist so, uh, see we have not expected that issue will come here because uh, this is easier part this we already know uh, user id so here i think it is required or not okay uh, i think it is not required so let's refresh it see uh, still it is coming mm. let's check carefully once that product id mm. okay so it is required here now it is fine must be see see okay so now you can see the wish list heart is filled so we are going to check that whether when once we will click on this one that it must be empty and the product must get removed from the user wish list so let's see no i think some error may have come uh, it is not working at all okay because here maybe we have put die here okay so we can remove this die and we can try once again okay so i'm going to try once again yeah this time the uh, you can see that the uh, on the click of this hurt instantly it is it becomes empty and we can see now that it must be one record only this record must have been removed first record must have been removed from the wish list and you can see that record has been removed instantly in the real time okay so we are going to put back put it back i'm going to remove this one see uh, page will not refresh here and you can see that uh, this uh, wish list product will get added to the u u user wish list instantly okay you can going to check this one see here the product has been added in user wish list without any uh, without any change in the browser okay you can see you can instantly remove it you can instantly add it you can remove it you can add it otherwise the page will refresh and it will take a lot of time so how user friendly it is okay so that's why we uh, we use ajax okay so uh, here uh, you can put another products in the user wish list uh, in quickly okay you can check you we can put all the products here we have added this one in the user wish list as well so one more we are going to add in the user wish list see how fast it is so this one also we are going to add see this one is also added there must be four rows now okay you can check we able to update all the wishlist products okay so like this you can able to fill up the uh, user wishlist quickly okay so here we can also show one check uh, once we add the wishlist we can show here alert alert check that the product added in user wishlist okay uh, so if you want that we can add otherwise it is not required but if you want we can add one check here uh, product added in wishlist okay we can simply write product added in wishlist and product removed from wishlist okay we can make it product added in your wishlist okay product added in your wishlist and in that case we will write product remove from your wish list so let's see now see if you want to uh, do this then you can do see uh, product remove from your wish list okay product added in your wish list okay so if you want you can also show the check here okay otherwise i don't think that it is required 
okay so uh, now uh, in the next video we are going to add the wishlist icon somewhere and we are going to show the wishlist product in the same way like we are showing the products in card we are going to show the products in wishlist as well that the user can check anytime and user can uh, put those products in into the card for for purchasing them okay so stay tuned for that uh, that's all for now have a nice time goodbye